With us now is Lynx director, Jenny Everson. Jenny, these are exciting times for you. They are. I understand that you just launched the new Lynx program. Yeah. So tell me, first of all, what does it mean to be linked? Well, it means that, before I tell you what it means to be linked, how about I share a little bit about why we even started Lynx. Please. Um, so for many years, actually, CBC has wanted to have an alumni association. Well, we faced a lot of challenges, a couple of them being that when you leave CBC and go on, you align yourself with that four-year institution and not necessarily CBC. But our biggest challenge is not knowing who our alumni are. We really don't know unless someone comes up to an outreach activity like the fair and says, oh, I went to CBC, and then we say, oh, can we get your name and your address so we can communicate? So Lynx is, well, and also, what we found is alumni associations are kind of limiting in that people think that the only way they're alumni are if they've graduated. So with community colleges, some people come and take just one class or several classes, and that makes them a link. So links are anyone who've been touched by CBC, and CBC in turn has touched and started giving them a start to their life. And I'm sure and we career. can find, uh, exactly, and I'm sure in the community, CBC has touched many lives. Well, in 55 years, you think, my goodness, the number must be phenomenal. Exactly. So what is the role of the Advisory Council, and what are the, their links to CBC? Well, we've got a terrific committee, or council, if you will. Um, they're all linked in different ways, some as instructors, some as past instructors, some as current staff, some as students and past students, but their role is really to guide and be innovative and create something very exciting and dynamic that people will want to be engaged in. Great. So the college touches a lot of the industry and people in various ways. So who is it exactly who's linked? Who's linked? Well, we take anybody. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, we take students, former students, faculty, retired faculty, business partners, and beyond that, even those people that believe in education, maybe not haven't been involved with CBC, but believe in what CBC is trying to do and the educational process and give to CBC, and they're definitely linked. So we think the number is going to be awesome when we find out. Okay. What are the reasons for joining? Well, we've got a lot of fun things planned. We've got newsletters, um, e-blasts chapter events, constituency events, outreach activities, and probably the most fun element of Lynx is going to be the Lynx Bucks. And you'll have to tune in to our website to find out more details about that. But it's going to be fun. We'll have Lynx weekends, Lynx campus tours. We're doing a lot of fun things for our current students as well. Coffee with the President. Um, we've just got um, a mountain of activities planned, and we encourage those of you that want to get linked to do so. And how do they go about getting linked? Well, that's the easy part. All they have to do is go on the website, check, um, click on the links, connect, and then click on the links form and fill it out, or meet us at outreach activities where we'll have um, cards that they can fill out. But we want to get everyone linked because our tagline is, Remember where you started, share what you've become. Well, thank you so much, Jenny, for being here. Thank you. When we come back, you'll meet Daphne Lightfoot, one of CBC's inspiring links. We'll be right back. After high school, there were other things I wanted to do before heading off to college. Now that I'm ready to pursue a career, Columbia Basin College's Learning Opportunities Center is giving me the extra help I need to continue on the career path that I choose. Welcome back. The theme for Lynx is, remember where you started, share what you've become. With us now is Daphne Lightfoot, CBC alum and the Lynx chairperson to do just that. Welcome Daphne. Thank you, it's good to be here. So looking back, how did you get your start at CBC? Well, in 1991, actually May of 1991, I was living in Boise and transferred here to the Tri-Cities. 
I had worked in education before in Denver, Colorado, and, and when I left Denver, I was just really sad because I really missed working in education. So I had my sights set on working at Columbia Basin College. So in October of 1991, I became a full-time staff member at Columbia Basin College. And as I'd always wanted to um, go to school, I wanted to take classes at CBC. So in winter of 1992, I became a student at Columbia Basin College as well. Wow. So I understand that not only, be, like you said, you were a staff person, but how long did it take you to get your degree? When I first started at Columbia Basin College, the reason I was transferred is that my then husband uh, was transferred here to the Tri-Cities. And so I thought, okay, what do I take? I wanted to take something that was going to help me if we were transferred again. So I decided to enroll in the AAS for the accounting degree. And I took one to two classes a quarter on my lunch hour and after work. And it took me, oh, at least 10 to 14 years to finish my degree. And I was still living here in the Tri-Cities. And I thought, well, let's see if I can complete the AA. So I kept on and completed my Associates of Arts. And then I was able to transfer to WSU Tri-Cities. Graduated in December of 2008 with my bachelor's in digital technology and culture. And now I'm in a master's program for educational leadership. That is awesome. So we know you could share, us, uh, share with us now, what, you, what have you become? Well, now I am the current director of student employment services. When I first started at the college, um, 18 years ago actually, mm -hmm. I was in one of the beginning positions. It was an office assistant position. So over the years, along with the education that I've received at Columbia Basin College and all the opportunities that they've offered me um, in professional development, I became the director of um, student employment services in January. That is impressive. So you have many links to CBC. Does you want to tell us how you I, are linked to CBC? I do have many links. Of course, I'm a student, an alumni, um, a staff member. Plus, I was very, very fortunate to have my two stepdaughters. When they graduated from high school in Denver, they moved to the Tri-Cities, and they attended Columbia Basin College. And I also have links with employers throughout the Tri-Cities from posting positions through our office. I often run into, if I'm standing in the grocery store, having a conversation with someone, I find out that, oh, yes, my daughter has come into the student employment office. So not only am I linked to that parent, but I'm sure I was linked to that student as well. You are well linked. <laughs> so how did you become involved with the Lynx program? Or Well, a few months ago, um, Jennifer uh, put on a wonderful uh, event for CBC alumni and it kind of grew and we wanted it to grow and she was looking for individuals who would be um, willing to sit on the council for the links and I really believe in the whole idea of remember where you started and share what you've become and so I was really happy to be able to uh, work on this committee with Jennifer. Great. So. Would you recommend others to get linked? Absolutely. And it's so interesting because I think when you sit down and you start thinking about the different ways that you are linked, you're going to find out um, you're linked in so many ways. Maybe your best friend went to school at CBC, but you didn't. But you're still linked. And there's still mm -hmm. opportunities um, to join links. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you would like more information on the topics we discussed, there will be contact information at the end of the program. For general information, call 547-0511 or visit us on the web at www.columbiabasin.edu. I'm Don Alford and thanks for watching.